Okay, hello everyone, Lewis here once again, and today I'm going to be making a quick video on how to install the newly released Reborn mod for Terraria. It is quite a simple installation, but I'm sure some people will still have some questions on how to install it. I was a bit confused myself at first, since it is a couple of different downloads, so as usual, there will also be a step-by-step -step guide in the description below if you do get lost on any of the steps, which I'm going to be showing you guys. So of course, you do need a few different downloads, but one thing to note first off is make sure you do have a fresh installation of Terraria. Just right-click on on Troia in Steam, click on delete local content, then just reinstall it. Um, if you've got any previous mods that might mess with it, so just make sure you've got fresh, you know, a fresh install of Troia, otherwise you could have some issues. So the three things which you'll need is tconfig, which only you need to download this, is click on downloads, click on installer here, click skip add, and in the top right will be a skip add, and then it will start downloading. The second thing you need is the Troia game launcher, just click on download here, it's the same as the other link, it'll be an ad fly link, click on click here to continue then again just click on skip in the top right and then it will continue to download it and the third thing of course is Reborn mod version 1 or whatever version it is I'm pretty sure it'll be a similar installation for every single version so just click on that and it'll bring you to Mediafire then click on download and then just go to wherever the hell you downloaded all your stuff in my case it's just some downloads and things you should have is game launcher setup.exe this is what the default names of them are a picture of a panda bear ah oh, look at the panda uh, Reborn mod zip uh, the T config installer. So the way I did it is not necessarily the best way, but I guess it works, so it's okay. So just double click on T T config installer, not T shock. Then just install that quickly. I accept. Next, 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 next. You can take these if you want. It just makes it so as a desktop icon. Next, next, blah. And it should install really quick. Then install this one right here. Run. Next, next, next. And then this will open up. Just click the cross in the top right. You don't need to open it right now. Then open this up. In my case, I've opened up with WinRAR. Um, you can use it, you know, WinZip or any other extracting program. Or there is an extracting pro program by default in Windows, so you could use that if you really wanted to. Just double click on Reborn Mod Installer. Bring up a little command prompt thing. Press Enter. And that's pretty much it. Once you've done that, just open up Steam and download. Well, download it. Open up Troia. And then you'll get this little thing up here. Just click on. I'm not sure if you have to actually click on this, but I like to click on it anyway. Click on T config and click launch game. Every time you do launch Troy, of course, you'll get a little launcher, but it's not like it's that much hassle. And once you've launched it, you will get these different things here. You know, this being a new menu and this being a new menu. And of course, you can see the version of T config in the bottom left. Just click on T config settings. Click on reborn mod on. Probably want to reload the mods then. Actually, I think I just refreshed it. I don't even know I haven't really used T config too much. But once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. Um, just load your world and you should have a Reborn mod installed. It's the same for pretty much any mod, but for anyone who hasn't modded before, such as me in fact on Troia, I haven't done really any modding, um, it was a bit confusing. So I hope this has been informative. If it has helped you, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and all that good stuff. If you're confused by anything, I highly recommend you check the description as there is a step-by-step -step guide there, which might be simpler than a crazy Englishman ranting basically. I can't understand myself either. So. That's pretty much it, so I'll see you guys later, and I hope you do enjoy the awesome mod.